This is the key English test. Paper two, listening. Test number one. There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two, three, four, and five. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About thirty. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. What will they eat for dinner this evening? What do you want for dinner this evening, Maria? We could have pizza or chicken. Hmm. What about fish? I had a pizza last night. Okay, that's easy to cook. Good. Now listen again. What do you want for dinner this evening, Maria? We could have pizza or chicken. Hmm. What about fish? I had a pizza last night. Okay, that's easy to cook. Good. Two. What time is it? Have you got the right time? I think my watch is wrong. Ah,、uh, it's half past two. Ah, my watch says twenty past. Well, it's ten minutes slow then. Now listen again. Have you got the right time? I think my watch is wrong. Ah,、uh, it's half past two. Ah, my watch says twenty past. Well, it's ten minutes slow then. Three. What's Michelle going to read? Can I read your newspaper, Michelle? Didn't you bring a book with you? Yes, but it's not very interesting. Oh, here you are. I'll read this letter from John. Now listen again. Can I read your newspaper, Michelle? Didn't you bring a book with you? Yes, but it's not very interesting. Oh, here you are. I'll read this letter from John. Four. How much did the tickets cost? Oh hi! Did you have a good time at the theater last night? Well, the play was excellent, but the tickets cost ninety dollars each. That's not too bad if the play was good. No, perhaps you're right. Now listen again. Oh hi! Did you have a good time at the theater last night? Well, the play was excellent, but the tickets cost ninety dollars each. That's not too bad if the play was good. No, perhaps you're right. Five. Where is the chemist's? Excuse me, can you tell me where the chemist's is, please? Just a moment. Oh yes, 
It's past the post office, next to a big supermarket. Is it far from here? No, just two minutes' walk. Now listen again. Excuse me, can you tell me where the chemist's is, please? Hmm, just a moment. Oh yes, it's past the post office, next to a big supermarket. Is it far from here? No, just two minutes' walk. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Kate telling Emma about her family. Where is each person going today? For questions six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Kate. What about a game of tennis sometime? I'd like to, Emma, but not today. I'm really busy. What are you doing? Sam's got toothache, so I'm going to take him to the dentist this morning. Oh dear. And then Mother's going to the hairdresser this afternoon, and I said I would drive her home afterwards. Then after school, Tanya wants me to help her buy some new shoes. She doesn't like shopping alone. My daughter doesn't either. You're going to the concert this evening, aren't you? I'm afraid not. But Len loves classical music, so he'll go. Oh, good. By the way, has Tom started driving yet? He's having his first lesson today. He's going to the driving school at lunchtime. He's really excited about it. I'm sure he is. How's your father? Does he still play golf? No, not any more. But he started learning Spanish. Actually, he's got a class this evening. Good for him. Well, perhaps we can go to the tennis club tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Now listen again. Hi, Kate. What about a game of tennis sometime? I'd like to, Emma, but not today. I'm really busy. What are you doing? Sam's got toothache, so I'm going to take him to the dentist this morning. Oh dear. And then Mother's going to the hairdresser this afternoon, and I said I would drive her home afterwards. Then after school, Tanya wants me to help her buy some new shoes. She doesn't like shopping alone. My daughter doesn't either. You're going to the concert this evening, aren't you? I'm afraid not. But Len loves classical music, so he'll go. Oh, good. By the way, has Tom started driving yet? He's having his first lesson today. He's going to the driving school at lunchtime. He's really excited about it. I'm sure he is. How's your father? Does he still play golf? No, not any more. But he started learning Spanish. Actually, he's got a class this evening. Good for him. Well, perhaps we can go to the tennis club tomorrow. Yes. Okay. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to a woman talking to a policeman. For questions eleven to fifteen, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds.
Now listen to the conversation. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes. I've lost my bag. Oh, I am sorry. Now, where did you lose it? In the town centre. I had it when I got off the bus. Was there much money in the bag? No, there wasn't. I usually have 40 or 50 pounds in it, but today I think there was only about 20. Uh, what else was in the bag? Just my gloves. I left my credit card and driving licence at home. Was the bag expensive? No, it was an old one. It wasn't big enough, really. Now, what time did you lose it? Well, I left home about 9.30, and the bus takes half an hour, so I lost it about 10 o'clock. Right. Well, I'll phone you tomorrow to tell you if we find it. Are you at home in the afternoon? Sorry, I'm going out until the evening. Could you phone before 10 in the morning? Certainly. I'll call then. Now, what's your number? It's 036 2 Now listen again. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes. I've lost my bag. Oh, I am sorry. Now, where did you lose it? In the town centre. I had it when I got off the bus. Was there much money in the bag? No, there wasn't. I usually have 40 or 50 pounds in it, but today I think there was only about 20. Uh, what else was in the bag? Just my gloves. I left my credit card and driving licence at home. Was the bag expensive? No, it was an old one. It wasn't big enough, really. Now, what time did you lose it? Well, I left home about 9.30, and the bus takes half an hour, so I lost it about 10 o'clock. Right. Well, I'll phone you tomorrow to tell you if we find it. Are you at home in the afternoon? Sorry, I'm going out until the evening. Could you phone before 10 in the morning? Certainly. I'll call then. Now, what's your number? It's 036 2 This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a man speaking on the telephone. He wants to speak to Miss Dixon, but she's not there. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Browns Builders, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like to speak to Miss Dixon, please. I'm afraid she's not in the office at the moment. Can you give her a message for me? Yes, certainly. Who's calling, please? My name is Hyde. How do you spell that, please? That's H-Y-D-E. Right, Mr Hyde. Could you tell her that the time of the meeting has changed? Is that the meeting about the new houses? No, about the new factory. I see. And when is it? It's on Wednesday at half past eleven. Does Miss Dixon know where the meeting is? I think so. It's in our main office. Ask her to go to room 21. Right. I'll tell her. And could you ask her to bring the photographs with her? Which photos do you mean? She'll know which ones. They're very important. Don't worry. I'll tell her. Thank you very much, Mr Hyde. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Now listen again. Browns Builders, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like to speak to Miss Dixon, please. I'm afraid she's not in the office at the moment. Can you give her a message for me? Yes, certainly. Who's calling, please? My name is Hyde. How do you spell that, please? That's H Y D E. Right, Mr. Hyde. Could you tell her that the time of the meeting has changed? Is that the meeting about the new houses? No, about the new factory. I see. And when is it? It's on Wednesday, at half past eleven. Does Miss Dixon know where the meeting is? I think so. It's in our main office. Ask her to go to room twenty-one. Right. I'll tell her. And could you ask her to bring the photographs with her? Which photos do you mean? She'll know which ones. They're very important. Don't worry. I'll tell her. Thank you very much, Mr. Hyde. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a man talking about a day trip. Listen, and complete questions twenty-one to twenty-five. You will hear the information twice. Ladies and gentlemen. Here's some information about our trip to Loch Ness tomorrow. It's a long journey, about three hours each way, so we have to start early. That means we'll have breakfast at half past seven. Don't be late, please, as the bus has to leave at half past eight. When you finish breakfast, go to the car park. That's where we'll get on the bus. That's the big car park behind the hotel. Remember to bring your pink tickets for lunch. We'll have lunch at a restaurant near Loch Ness, and you must have your pink ticket, or you won't get any lunch. If you haven't got a pink ticket yet, you can get one from the office. Oh, one more thing. I know it's summer. But it can get quite cold in the mountains, even in July. So bring a jacket with you. You'll need one in the evening. All right. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Now listen again. Ladies and gentlemen, here's some information about our trip to Loch Ness tomorrow. It's a long journey, about three hours each way, so we have to start early. That means we'll have breakfast at half past seven. Don't be late, please, as the bus has to leave at half past eight. When you finish breakfast, go to the car park. That's where we'll get on the bus. That's the big car park behind the hotel. Remember to bring your pink tickets for lunch. We'll have lunch at a restaurant near Loch Ness, and you must have your pink ticket, or you won't get any lunch. If you haven't got a pink ticket yet, you can get one from the office. Oh, one more thing. I know it's summer, but it can get quite cold in the mountains, even in July. So bring a jacket with you. You'll need one in the evening. All right. I'll see you tomorrow morning. This is the end of part five. 
You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Teacher, stop the tape here and time eight minutes. This is the end of the test.